What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing actually a review on my shift knob and my short throw shifter. I did install a likewise shift knob right here and it is 1.10 pounds so it is very heavy which means that the shifter itself, the shifter assembly, feels very light to throw in gear. And for the short throw shifter that the shift knob is on, it's the Boomba Racing short throw shifter. It wasn't that bad of a price in regards to other short throw shifters I've seen. And the install, I didn't do myself. I took it over to a different place that did it uh, locally. So the short throw shifter reduces my throws by about 30% through each gear. And it also retains the reverse lockout lever right here. It does sit up a little high, but it's pretty it's pretty low compared to the rest of my car. So this is kind of like a dual video because I'm also showing you the shift knob. And this just screws right off. And uh, that's the adapter in order to get this on because it's a very big and wide uh, inner bore. And then this is just the collar adapter in order to hide the spring for the reverse lockout. And then there's another one on there because they don't have the uh, the thread pitch for my current shifter, which is the same as a Mustang M10 by 1.25. So I have to use Subaru uh, shift threads, which is uh, M12 by 1.25. So this just screws right on. There we go. So the benefit of the weighted shift knob is that it will go into gear a little bit quicker, I feel like, because one, you don't have to put so much force into it. You also don't have to be so accurate with your shifting. And that also complements the short throw shifter because that will also make your shifts a little bit more crisp and accurate. But with the weight of the shift knob, depending on the weight you get, it always varies. I have three shift knobs that I switch between. I have this one. I have another likewise shift knob and it's the Ghost. So this one weighs about uh, 0.53 pounds. So it is heavy compared to other shift knobs, but not as heavy as this one. This one's like double the weight, if not more. A little bit more than double. And then this one's weightless and you know, I gotta, I gotta rep the Dragon Ball. So this one's weightless, but it's just fun because it looks very nice on the shifter. I highly recommend this mod for any Forte owners out there with the manual uh, option, so the GT owners. I'm going to be doing another quick video on my BPV delete. I don't see any videos on showing how to remove the hose or anything. I already did it, so I can't really show the act of it, but I will show you guys just what it looks like after and what I had to do to get that hose off. I'm gonna be doing another video on the exhaust what I did to the exhaust and um, what I'm planning to do to it I might switch it up I'm thinking of doing a second cat delete but I don't know so that video should be coming out and then I'm gonna show you guys the video on a quick video on my tint I have tint on all the windows and including the windshield and I also have uh, smoked out headlights and tint on my uh, safety lights or whatever those uh, orange caution lights are in the front. So I do have more mods coming soon that I can actually film me doing the mod, which I just ordered some uh, LED lights for the trunk. It's not for the interior of the trunk, it's for the uh, license plate lights actually. So I have that coming, uh, it should be actually coming today, and I'll probably film it tomorrow, and then you guys will see it probably tomorrow the same day so thank you guys for all the support on the oil change video on the k5 i'm also going to be doing an oil change on the k3 probably this weekend and i'll film that so everything's coming together for this car it's a lot more fun than the k5 in my opinion so thank you guys so much uh stay tuned for the next video coming out later this week i should have two videos later uh, it'll be the license plate lights and it'll be the oil change video so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.